Jamie Kennedy. Subscribe to my man, Destination Station, right now if you want the best content. Did the trailer give away that Tara is the killer in Scream 6? I gotta put in my two cents about this. What's up? Welcome to Destination Station. As always, I'm Destin. Thank you for clicking on this video. Subscribe to Destination Station if you want Scream, Halloween, and everything in between. And follow me on all my socials. All the links are in the description down below. And be a part of my, some of my live streams on Friday nights, 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, just be a part of the conversation here. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, but today, I want to talk about our beloved Jenna Ortega, Tara Carpenter. Okay. The, I I did not want to touch on this because I have talked about this before in the past. This has been a theory before. Like, even uh, the Scream 6 teaser came out. I, I've talked about this and everybody thought I was crazy. Um, uh, and and uh, mainly it was about Sam Carpenter and how this is going to be revealed. And I'm going to touch on both of them a little bit right here. But uh, I have to put in my two cents about Tara and this whole shot right here of the way she is looking up and it looks like it's Sam holding her over the edge and that doesn't look like a scared face that doesn't look like a concerned face that looks like a like I'm accepting this you know uh, I, I am who I am that looks and she's also got the dark makeup around her eyes like maybe that's mascara or maybe that's trying to hide her identity underneath the mask is Tara gonna be one of the ghost face is she gonna be the mastermind behind all this or is she gonna be somebody that's manipulated and Sam has to fight for her back. Maybe somebody has turned her on her own sister and uh, kind of, you know, uh, messed with her head a little bit. And Tara's kind of struggling also from the dark side. Or maybe she's seeing visions too, just like Sam. Maybe the visions are actually coming from her mother. I mean, uh, uh, we'll see. You know, maybe her, they're both. Maybe their mom is the one that's actually uh, uh, schizophrenia or something has something hereditary in the family, and that's where they get that side from. We will find out. I'm pretty sure there's going to be some things revealed. Here. First, let me talk about Sam for a second, and then I'm gonna jump right into Tara. So just bear with me. I made this theory a while back, and if you've been subscribed to the channel, you probably already know what I'm gonna talk about. Is that I do not think that. My theory is that Sam's first kill was not Richie in Scream 5. That was too much. That was overkill. That was like, that was like 26 stabs or something like that. Uh, that she she was like getting off on it. <laughs> she 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 enjoyed it, and then and then like cutting his throat too, and then shooting him too. Like it was just overkill. She gave in to whatever she's been struggling for with for years. We all know that she has visions of her her dad Billy Loomis and all of that, and she has this 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 evil inside of her. Maybe that evil is is inside of her, like that she gets that from her dad. But maybe she gets her visions or whatever from her mom. You know, maybe it's hereditary. Um, and, and, and that means that Tara probably has the same thing. And maybe Tara just hasn't, like, let in on that. But I've always said that Sam's first kill is probably not Richie. And we all hear about that Sam broke up the family, found that diary that, that, that Christina Carpenter, you know, uh, had a baby with with Billy Loomis and that is Sam actually and that broke up their family made Tara's dad lead the family and just leave and then um, uh, Which I never really bought that it was like, okay, so so if you're not the father of this daughter uh, you're mad at your 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 wife and and This situation, but you're gonna leave your other biological daughter. I don't buy that. I think there's more to it than that. I actually think that Sam killed Tara's dad whether it be an accident, maybe she blacked out, maybe she gave into the dark side, maybe this is the moment where she realized there's something wrong with her and she actually killed Tara's dad. Maybe Tara's dad started treating her differently and was really bad, maybe abusive verbally and physically. I don't know. Or maybe just it was a freak accident, like like Sam had, you know, pushed him over an edge or something, you know, and he died and, and maybe he's not missing. He actually is dead. And I think we're going to see something like that in this. But I also think that we're going to find out that Tara is going to be blaming Sam more for her father either leaving uh, or uh, uh, going to think that, you know, 
find out that she killed her actual dad. So that's going to be motive for Tara to actually be a ghost face and try to get back at her sister. Maybe this entire thing is a setup. And I've, you know, pointed out before in other videos that, you know, it's speculated that like Kirby might be a ghost face in this one, you know. And with this look with Tara looking up, maybe we're getting a little bit of all of that. Maybe, maybe Kirby is a killer in this. I don't really want that character to go that way, but now just bear with me for a second. What if after the events of five, Tara was uh, attacked at the beginning of five, survived? I don't think that Tara was a killer in five. I don't, but maybe sh this is her turning into a killer in this one. And maybe it's, it's the other ghost face or ghost faces that, and, and I'm saying like maybe Kirby and maybe another character that has reached out to Tara and being like, hey, I've been through it before too. You know, if Kirby's motive is to get revenge because she was left for dead, similar to like Tara was in Scream 5, and we all know this is gonna have some connections to Scream 4 a little bit, and uh, they built even a, a new house uh, on the set for uh, Kirby's house. So they're got, they gotta be doing something big for it instead of just uh, uh, just talking about it. They have to be doing some flashbacks or something. So what if Kirby actually, um, you know, talks to Tara and it's like, you know, brainwashes her a little bit. And maybe it's Tara's idea to actually come to the college, Blackmore University in New York, where Gail lives, where the shrine is. We don't know it as the audience yet, but when it's revealed, we come to find out this is an entire setup towards Sam to make her go over the edge and maybe take the fall for all this because they all have revenge over all this that has happened. And uh, and then this is Tara's, you know, this scene right here where they're back to back and it looks like they're looking at two different ghost face. You know, I think this is the part where Tara may like turn around and, and face Sam and side with them. And then Sam's kind of like, what are you doing? And then, you know, the other ghost face are like, she's one of us now. And and she's struggling like, 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 Tara, don't do this. Don't be like me. Don't give in to this, you know. And then maybe Tara's like, well, you killed my dad or you or you broke up our family, yada, yada, yada. Whatever the case may be, whatever the, the all the other secrets that come out about this family. And maybe that's where the struggle is. And then maybe once everything happens and, and and they have their whole climax fight and everyone dies or whatever maybe this scene of sam holding tara over the balcony is tara's just accepting her fate she's gonna die but we also see another clip where sam's getting thrown off so maybe maybe sam instead of kills tara she can't bring herself to kill tara because she has turned this way maybe she lets tara go at the end you know maybe tara that maybe that's where we see you know at, uh, in daylight hours, the aftermath of Sam holding that mask and she's all bloody and the mask has got some blood on it and everything and maybe she's let Tara go be and, and maybe she's kind of like twisted the story to where it doesn't look like Tara is a bad person. So Tara's like still out there. Maybe Tara still gets away or something. You know, it might go to something like that or maybe Tara actually does die in this one or maybe I'm completely wrong and we have, still have two final girls like we did in Scream 5. Maybe they're just going to keep it at that. Am I thinking too much into it? With all these different images, they really got us speculating. Because in Scream 5, when that trailer came out, it gave away so much. We could break it down and we're like, okay, it go this way or that way. And, and these have to be our killers. This one, it's, it, it, it's a lot of open the air. There's a lot that they could do with. you know. And they might be hearing a lot of what we're saying and theorizing about and, and breaking this down. And they might have different endings filmed for this movie and they might pick a different ending a different different ghost faces just because we're all expecting Tara or Kirby or somebody like that to get killed and I've already made a video also about Gail Weathers how I think that scene is the ending scene and everything uh, uh, be, be looking out for that video already it's already on my channel uh, um, uh, I've been saying that for a long time and and with this what do you think do you think Tara is a killer or do you think she's this is just her and Sam's like like a plan like they're trying to do a setup to get Ghostface in a certain way maybe they plan this whole thing in the shrine or in this movie theater or is the movie I'm trying to figure out if this movie theater is attached to this shrine you see what I'm saying like I th is this is that whole balcony is that attached to the shrine I can't really I'm trying to piece the 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 puzzles together here and I'm not quite sure but 
Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll see more. Some of these TV spots that just came out, they're, they're giving away some other spoilers that don't need to be added. Uh, so be watching out for that. I would just say don't watch any more trailers until the movie comes out because anything extra could give away what we're already speculating. So if you want to be surprised, anything like me, I want to walk out of that movie and be like, damn, they got me. You know, I want to be wrong. So, uh, but it would also be cool to be right. <laughs> Anyways, this is Destination Station. Let me know what your thoughts about Terry is down below. And who do you think who is Ghostface? Who done it? Who the fuck done it? All right. Let me know in the comment section below. All right. Subscribe to Destination Station. Like this video. And uh, I'll see you guys when I see you guys. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Oh! Oh!